Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am thrilled to have you guys here. Uh, before we get into the video, let me just ask that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I make videos on all kinds of different things. Sometimes I do like vlog tile style. I do vlog style videos. I also do uh, soap reviews and you know I look at videos of or not videos. I do videos on scented things, whether that be soap, cologne, I've done deodorant, I've even done candles, I've done perfume. So, uh, and those are things that I'm interested in, so if you are too, go ahead and slap that subscribe button and uh, give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, moving on. Uh, well, let me just give you a little bit of a backstory, okay? Um... Let's see here. Well then, why are these wet? <sighs> anyway, I had a gag that I was gonna do and uh, it just got ruined, so uh, I ain't even worried about it. Uh, moving on into the video. So today's video, as you probably saw by the title, I got a different soap, completely different. Uh, it's not a similar brand. Uh, it's not even made anywhere near any of the soaps that I have looked at before. So this is a first for my channel. Um, and it's wrapped like this. Let me explain this. Okay, so I went to uh, a couple of weeks ago, or actually not even a couple of weeks ago, I'm crazy. A couple of days ago, I went to a Cracker Barrel with my wife and uh, one of my wife's friends slash co-workers. Um, we walked through the gift shop and uh, I noticed that they had some soap. And me being me, we kind of, me and my wife look at each other like, ah, damn it, you know, you know what I have to do. I have to, I have to buy some soap now. Uh, well, unfortunately, what ended up happening was uh, I got violently sick uh, from Cracker Barrel's food, and uh, I just didn't feel like uh, I didn't feel like going and buying the soap after I ate. So we left. Well, anyway, uh, that had been that was this past Sunday, and now here it is Friday, uh, October 29th. Uh, happy early Halloween, by the way. And on my way home from work, I just, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, I gotta stop in. I gotta stop in and not even get food. I'm gonna buy soap. And so I did. Now, without further ado, let me unwrap All right. The reason it's wrapped in paper is because the lady that sold it to me hated the way it felt. And I completely understand. But, uh, so this is what it is. Take a peek. Uh, read everything it says on it. It's actually a pretty uh, good looking bar of soap. <sighs> okay, so this is Bella Pure Natural Soap. Made with sustainable palm oil, triple French milled, made in Australia. That's right. Made in Australia, baby. This is one that I've never seen before. This is a sandalwood scent and 3.3 uh, ounces. So this is a very light bar. Um... Now, I was in a hurry, so I forgot, I forgot to grab the receipt to tell you exactly how much this thing cost me. But I bought something else, too, so I, I can't really remember off the top of my head. Uh, I think this has to be like four bucks, and it was like 40% off. So I, I, I saved a little bit of money. But Bella Pure Natural Soap, and uh, that's the, you know, the name right there. And that's their little logo stamped right into this beautiful, beautiful, uh, very creative bar of soap. Look at it. It's supposed to be a sandalwood scent, so they went for like a wood look. 
on the actual bar of soap. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that, so uh, props to Bella uh, in your triple milled pure natural soap. That's what it says right there, by the way. Now, necessarily triple milled doesn't mean French, uh, but triple, triple French milled, I guess, is its own thing, maybe. Uh, no SLS. I'm, you know what? No bad chemicals, no parabens. Okay. Um, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Distributed with kindness by Value Max Products, LLC. Cold Water, Michigan. So it's made in Australia. Distributed in Cold Water, Michigan by Value Max Products. Um, now, once again, if you look on the back here, it says enriched with organic shea butter, which uh, these are kind of some of these things, like shea butter is huge in soap right now, and it has been for a while. Uh, and sustainable palm oil is also really big. But uh, they like to use all the good buzzwords. 3.3 ounces. I know I'm everywhere. Just, just, I didn't do any prep work, okay? 3.3 uh, ounces is not very much, but I think at four bucks, uh, that's really not that bad. So, not to mention just the absolute sheer beauty, like the, the whole entire bar of soap is, right? So, I think it's already worth it but uh the feel of it is it feels wet it feels extremely wet like i mean i wish i wish you could understand how wet this actually felt it feels i'm surprised it didn't soak through this paper because it i mean it is just wet you see that look at this This thing is so waxy feeling, it's unreal. So uh, maybe that's because it's triple French milled, maybe. Or maybe it's the uh, sustainable palm oil uh, or the organic shea butter. I don't really know, but uh, the texture and the feel of the bar of soap is absolutely awful. And that's just because I, I hate when I touch a soap and I feel like my hands are already wet. You get what I'm saying? If my hands are dry and I touch your bar of soap and it feels like my fingers just got wet, that, that, that gives me like a negative ASMR vibe. Uh, I don't like that. I only like that when I'm in the shower or the bath or something, you know. If I'm not washing myself, I don't like that. Anyway, enough of my bitching. Let me uh, get back into the bar of soap here. This is uh, sandalwood, once again, probably for the fifth time. Let me smell it, and then I'll explain to you uh, approximately what I believe it smells like, okay? Uh, and the results of the smell test may be skewed because my sinuses are obliterated. They are ruined. I cannot smell a thing. Okay, that's not sandalwood whatsoever. That's not sandalwood. And and I don't know where you thought this was going. Now, it smells really good, but this isn't sandalwood. So, maybe Australian sandalwood? Maybe there's two different sandalwoods? I doubt it, but... Uh, that's not what sandalwood smells like. So it's almost very uh, perfumey, kind of. It kind of smells like a, a mixture of like a like a like a men's cologne, like an older men's older gentleman's cologne, and uh, uh, you know, an old lady's perfume, maybe. It smells kind of sporty. Like kind of leaning towards an Old Spice vibe. Sandalwood, man. You're dumb. 
you know, I've smelled a lot of sandalwood stuff, and I, I, I've actually gotten the hint of, of wood. No, no, this is not that. But it smells really good. Uh, I feel like my wife would enjoy this smell on me. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Anyway, I bought this at Cracker Barrel for like four bucks. Uh, it smells good. Doesn't smell like sandalwood. So let's go over. Okay, number one, uh, the value. Four dollars for a three point three ounce bar of soap. That's not terrible. Uh, you know, plus I didn't pay shipping and handling. Uh, that's not bad. I'll give the value probably a good seven out of ten. That's not terrible. Um, the smell. Okay, now, I know I just said that it smells nothing like sandalwood. However, it still smells really good. So I'm going to give the scent an 8 out of 10. Uh, overall presentation, there's no, uh, like, box it comes in. This is just, you know, they slap a little sticker on it with a barcode, uh, and there you go. And you need nothing more, really, uh, especially if you're buying it in-store. So, uh you know, no need. I'm assuming that, you know, they got a large quantity in a box, shipped it out, so there's only one box being used instead of a big box, a bunch of smaller boxes. You know, it's, it just blows my mind. So, the fact that this doesn't really come in a box, and you get to see this beautiful, elegant, nice try, at a, uh, a a wood version of soap is pretty cool, okay? Uh, I give the presentation a 9 out of 10 because the soap bar actually looks badass. Uh, there's no box for it. It's just the bar of soap, and the sticker is the, you know, quote-unquote packaging. So that's a 9 out of 10 in my book. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. So this has been a, a, a close look at Bella Pure Natural Soap Sandalwood, okay? Uh, now, like I said, I bought this at Cracker Barrel. Made in Australia. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, I just want to, like, touch base again with you guys. If you are watching this video and you enjoyed this video or videos similar to these, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Number one, it really helps the channel. It, it lets me know that I'm doing something right. And, uh, you know, it gives me that, that push to do another one, Matt. Do another. Do another. And when I get that drive, it really, uh, it really gets those creative juices flowing. And uh, there's nothing really creative about this. I just do what I like. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I got another video coming up soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Another reason to uh, subscribe to this channel. And uh, I'll see ya. I'll see ya.